Yo, hello everyone, this is Brad. <laughs> and this is E. Gilly. <laughs> Welcome to the latest Dark Zone Lab. And yes, <laughs> season four is coming on April 11th. Let's take a sneak peek at all the juicy details the new season has in store. First, let's dive into the Valley Refresh. The Valley is one of Arena Breakout's iconic maps. After three seasons, we believe it's time to inject some energy into it, changing the dynamics for combat. First off, we've expanded the port. The main building is much larger, enticing you with all the loot possibilities. But beware, with a whole second floor addition, get ready for close quarters fights and long distance holdouts. The surrounding areas have plenty of cover to push in and take control of this high tier loot zone. Now let's shift our focus to the small factory. The small factory isn't so small anymore now that we've added a second floor, but we won't change its name. Taking this area will be tricky, but the loot is well worth it. We've expanded the basement, making it two to three times larger than before. This is probably rat heaven. Or maybe rat hell. Oh, and what about the locked room? Well, let's just say we've made some adjustments. I won't spoil the surprise. Finally, there's Norteño Court, a fresh addition to the valley landscape. This area features a striking clock tower and open courtyard. It's a very interesting addition for the new season. In season four, the warring factions continues with the ongoing conflict between CDIS and MST. Northridge Assault kicks things off with a 12 vs 12 clash between the Fred and the Randall. But here's a twist. Dynamical weather will spice things up, adding an extra challenge. Keep an eye out for the rainy days and the thunderstorms that disrupt audio cues. Teamwork matters in this fight, so we work with our faction to break out from Northridge Assault. Speaking of the factions, Kayla and Andrew are still in business, offering two new faction guns, the Bison and the TS5 SMGs. They also have a few other valuable items, so choose your side wisely. Just like in Season 3, all faction supplies are wiped at the end of the season, so use them while you can. We've also got the shiny new T951 and T03. Head to the gunsmiths and deck them out to match your playstyle. We've got a lineup of exciting events coming. In Season 3, we all worked hard crafting the Onoto's helmet. Now we are raising the stakes with a special surprise set to be unveiled in later April. We are also thrilled to have a true legend among us. Bruce Lee is joining the game this season. Search for the master in the latest event. This season reflects Kamona's rich and diverse history. Get ready to lose ourselves in the festivities this season. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. There's plenty more to uncover, but it's more exciting to unwrap those surprises yourself. For all the nitty gritty details in the new release, head over to our website for the full season four patch notes. So that's everything for this episode of Dark Zone Lab. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the Dark Zone on April 11th. Yeah, remember the date, April 11th. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.